We do have that Washington Cincinnati matchup, the tilt tonight, of course, on NFL Network. It's August 20th. My name's Kay Adams, Peter Schrager. Hey, Kyle Brandt. Hello, Hello. Mr. Munchkin Bringer, Sean O'Hara. Munchkin Bringer. Good morning. Right. Yes, yeah. Carb loading. Stop so at the Dunkin' breakfast. this morning. Yeah, you're talking about the donuts, not the Wizard of Oz creatures, right? That's a much different deal. But thank you, Sean, different, for bringing them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, those little people. No, no, there. thank yes. you. What do you keep doing? You're yes. showering me with Kit Kats and Munchkins. Are you just trying to buy your way into Nate's seat at this point? Um, no, I think it's just part of, you know, kind of being a part of a group, you know, mm -hmm. like rookies bringing donuts for mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. offensive linemen, breakfast sandwiches, all the apart, just trying to contribute a little bit. People don't do that. And you do. It's, it's, it's tough best. lifting. You are the missing link with sometimes at the table, Sean. Speaking of the link. <laughs> Let's do it. Link in five. Oh. How about oh. this? Patriots we got Jalen Hurts versus Mac Jones. This is going to be so exciting. I can't wait to watch this. And there's Jalen. So much promise, so much to prove. And then they ripped him off the field. They didn't play it down. Very frustrating, disappointing. We'll get into it. But how about Cam? Cam dusted off the howitzer. And I mean this. Up 7-0 yeah, early. Boom. All right. There's a nice little pass over the middle. Jacoby Myers for 18 nice. yards. Two plays later, watch this one. Cam, Kendrick Bourne, and doo -doo. Cam had three passes that traveled over 10 yards in the air. Newton had done that only twice last season for the whole year. So Cam's arm's coming out, it's good to see. You wanna do another one? I do. What's up, Jacoby Myers out in five? Look at this, he's gonna break attack and go whoop! Touchdown, Patriots! 13-0 after a missed extra point, of which there were 27. Tough night for the kickers, but hey, rookie sensation, Devontae Smith, Heisman Trophy at wide out. Versus Desmond Howard, where's number six? They wanted to get him the ball early, you could see it. Joe Flacco throw into him, just like they imagined. Catch, little run, that was his first catch of the preseason. Now watch some of these routes he starts breaking off. And, uh, oh, baby, filthy. It breaks this far right by. That's right, Iceman, here we go. Number six, I mean, that's just, that's what they said about Devontae coming out. He gets separation every time. I don't care how much he weighs. I don't care what he says. It's a Pro Bowl corner, too. Talk about it, Peter. All right, is this guy going to be a Pro Bowler? Let's see. Mac Jones came on and hashtag looks the part again. <laughs> it's look, it's Mac looked the part Jones. It's so funny. That's what everyone said. And it's 15th pick in the 2021 draft. That's Nikhil Harry. All right, now that was the third and 13. Pretty impressive. Then we're going to go out to Sony Michelle, who breaks the tackle. Sony, another juke. Are you going to score it? No. They're going to gang tackle him around the 40, but making the right decisions, Mac Jones. And guess who? Ramandre Stevenson. All he does, score touchdowns. Patriots lead 19 0, third quarter, still 19 0. Mac Jones, he got Gunner. Olszewski over the middle, gain a 17. The only complaint you had in this is the Patriots were knocking on the door a few times. They just kept running it. They wouldn't let Mac throw the touchdown pass, but he's throwing these all day. That's Gunner again for a 21-yard gain. Mac Jones on fuego. Again, let him throw a touchdown. No, we're giving it to J.J. Taylor. Learn about J.J. Taylor. He's 5'6", 185, undrafted last year, and he can play ball. Arizona, the Pac-12. Boom, another one. Gunner, you're going to score? Get in there, Gunner. Again, this is all Mac Jones looking sharp, looking the part, looking the part, looking the part. Do they give him a touchdown? No. Ramondre because we have to give to Ramondre Stevenson. You know they gave him a nickname afterwards. Cam gave him a nickname. I swear. What was it? Cam calls him Eddie Lacy. Ramondre Stevenson is Eddie Lacy? That's Cam's nickname for him. They asked him, what about Ramondre? He goes, oh, Eddie Lacy. That's awesome. Eddie Lacy came to the league, was incredible out of Alabama. 35 nothing. The Patriots look good. Eagles, a lot of work to do. And for that, we go to head coach Nick Sirianni about where in the hell was Jalen Hurts? He was out there for warm-ups and then poof, coach, what happened? He wasn't feeling great when he came in. And uh, so we, we put him through pregame warm-ups and he wanted to go out there and, and, and uh, go through pregame warm-ups. And, you know, he, st he came back in, he still wasn't feeling good. And we, uh, we evaluated him. Um, we, th we just decided that it wasn't in his best interest uh, to play. He actually went, he went to the hospital to get evaluated um, for, his, for his stomach. And um, like I said, um, they came back. Everything's good. And um, he's going to be okay. Rough evening all around for Nick Sirianni's Eagles. Couldn't stop the run. Couldn't get their quarterback out there. What caught your eye from last night's game, Kyle? This Jalen Hurts thing sort of weird. Very weird. And it's got. It was really weird last night because you know you all week you want to see Hurts and you want to see how he, he was doing and getting the reps and he needs the reps. It's not only that he's out there in the pregame. He's throwing. He's congenial. He's actually dancing. There's shots of him laughing, boogieing, doing all the fun stuff that players do before the game. And the next thing you hear. 
And Garofolo's talking about it. He has an illness. And you're like, oh, no. Like, th- is this a COVID thing? No. Then they come out and say, it's not COVID. We just had to get him out of the game. And so, listen, this East Coast Philadelphia media is screaming and mad about you're lying to us. What are you talking about? We saw him dancing. We can see it on Twitter right now. And he has, suddenly has an illness. Is there something we don't know? All you can do is take the Eagles at their word and say all of a sudden he had this sickness that's magically uh, attacked him right before the game, which is very strange. And also, like, important. Jalen Hurts needs those reps. Like, McGinnis last night in the network was crazy. He's saying, uh, crazy about it. He's saying, make this make sense. Why are we watching Joe Flacco play football? We know what we have in him. We don't know what we have in Jalen Hurts, and he has a sudden stomach bug, I'm still frustrated about it because I think we all wanted to see him play, and I think the Eagles needed to see him play. Yeah, we were all looking forward to it. I, I tell you, when you have the stomach pain in the pregame, you never know. if it Was it the pregame meal? Did something not agree with me? Hmm. Okay. I've seen Lamar Jackson have to deal with that, so we hope yeah. that he's okay. hope it wasn't like appendicitis or, or something like that that could come on really strong. But the ripple effect of that, Kyle, all right, because Jalen Hurts was going to start that game. Yeah. So was the starting offensive line. Mm. They pulled Jalen Hurts. Now, Lane Johnson, guess what? You're not going out. Get out. Brooks, uh-huh. you're out. Kelsey, you're on Sorry, the sideline. Sorry, Flacco. <laughs> Shotgun snaps over your head. How would you like to be Joe Flacco? Oh, I'm going in. Oh, great. I get to play with starters. Oh, no, no, no. No, you're yeah. taking out the starters. I'm with the twos. The, the ripple effect of that was huge. But for the game, look, we, I guess Cam Newton has been watching the show. Not like anybody in the broadcast booth. But Cam has been watching because he, he heard you say, I want to see some balls down the field. Yeah. They did that. But still... The night belonged to Mac Jones. It okay. was all about mac and cheese. Mm. He looks good. I know it's cheesesteaks down in Philly, but it was mac yep. and cheese. Nailed it. Look at these throws Nailed that it. Mac Jones was ripping. Now, look, he might lead the preseason in the most pa- beautiful passes that are never caught. I know. Uh, he had one last week to get into this. over the shoulder, but he had a deep ball that he threw to Nikhil Harry, and this is it right here. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this right here. And Nikhil, I mean, he sells out. He lays out for it. I mean, and he takes this one. He he didn't land on his shoulder. He landed on his head right here. Mm. And I hope he's okay because that didn't look pretty. But that throw right there. It's 10 out of 10. That's a dime. It doesn't get any better than that. That's dropping it right in the bucket right there. You've got to make that play. If he makes that catch and 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 Hendricks makes it or per, the, the, from the week before, mm-hmm. we're talking about it. How about that rip right there to Gunner? Now, the pocket presence, I thought, of for Mac Jones, his ability to step up. Watch him thread the needle right here. All right, That linebacker almost got a hand on it. His ability to slide up in the pocket, when he, yeah. when he drops back and puts that right foot in the ground, boom, that glide right there. That little crow hop. Mm-hmm. That's how he's getting all the zip on the ball, and it's his timing that for a rookie quarterback, you normally don't see. Normally, you see him burping the baby, Kay. Mm-hmm. And I, you I love that. burping in the baby. The, 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 so one thing the Patriots work a lot on this preseason already, besides running the football, is the deep in cut. Mm-hmm. Guess what? If you're playing the Patriots next mm-hmm. week, they're going to run a lot deep of the deep dig routes, cut. a lot of the deep in cuts. That's what they've been working on. And you know what? When Mac Jones is in there right now, it looks great. He looked good. Uh, he didn't look as good as Cam. Cam, yeah. Cam did Not a lot good. of things. What Cam did last night was silence a lot of people and just say, hey, for a second, just get off me for a second. Let me at least have another week where it's not the Mac Jones hysteria. Mac looked great. And to your point, looks the part is what everyone says because it's so Patriots quarterback. It looks like Brady. It looks like Garoppolo. It no. looks like Ryan Mallett in the back of there. Just a big statue. Okay, let's make it happen. Bledsoe. <laughs> Bledsoe. That. Right. And then there's Cam who does not fit what the Patriots have had at quarterback over the last 20 years under Belichick. And he was awesome last night. He's arm looked good let's see some cam newton from okay. last night because if you're wondering like, okay can he actually throw that's a that's a nice throw right there that is a hard throw it has got velocity it's got some speed on it hits jacoby myers and he marched them right down the field that's eight of nine for 103 yards and if james white protection. caught the ball it would have been nine and nine mm-hmm. um for his game but here look that's that's a completion it's a little dump off it's fine but cam looked like he was in control mm-hmm. he looked poised he, did. he was smiling on the sidelines he was upbeat and again for the second straight week mm-hmm. super super helpful and encouraging to mac jones when he came to the sideline after his series were over I loved what I saw from Cam. I loved it in the post-game press conference. He was jovial, but he was also well aware of the situation. I I think this is really good for Patriots fans. You want to see Mac have this wonderful second outing, and you want to see Cam say, hey, not Mm -hmm. just yet, young fella. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep this thing for Mm -hmm. now. I I thought the Patriots had a great night. 35 to nothing in a preseason game. We're starting the day with it. No one's going to be doing flips over this game 10 weeks from now. (laughs) But it does matter for the Cam Newton story because if he had not done well and Mac did what he did, we'd be starting it off with a very different tone this Mm -hmm. morning. So true. We didn't see Mac Jones throw a ton, especially at the goal line. They kept letting him run. This run game, are they just going to do this all year? Five it's try. Like, it is <laughs> Ugly it up. Crazy. They, of course, have Damian Harris out there. He's the guy you're looking at, the third rounder from last year. Then you have 5'6", J.J. Taylor, shades of Darren Sproles, number 43, out there averaging 
eight yards per carry, racking up 111 yards and a touchdown. Sony Michelle actually looked really good. He was super involved in the passing game. Maybe he pans out. James White still on this team. I don't know that all of these guys make the squad. I know it's an absolute headache for fantasy football. There we have Ramondre Stevenson Andre. going draft me, K. See the Mr. new Lavera Blunt? Draft me. I have four touchdowns, K, in two games. It's not happening, Ramondre. I'm not falling for it, Ramondre, but mm. still, this running game, uh, incredible. If they can get this going, I mean, they look pretty good, Kyle. It is really good. Mr. Uh, Ramondre Stevenson is Mr. August. I'm drafting him. You, I'm just Are draft you? Him. Yeah, I'm drafting the first Sounds round. I like, like him. A migraine. Your rookie rookie some I got some in my purse. Please. Let's keep it in the AFC East and check in on the Jets. They got some troubling news about their big free agent signing. such a bummer. Uh, they signed in the offseason Carl Lawson. Uh, no, sorry, NFL Network Insider Ian Rappaport has the latest now with uh, the injuries with the Jets. We'll get to you right now. Okay, the Jets had high hopes for pass rusher Carl Lawson, one of their big ticket signings in free agency, got a three-year, $45 million a year deal after five and a half sacks for the Cincinnati Bengals. This was a guy who had been one of, if not their best player during training camp. Now, he is not going to play for the rest of the 2021 season, the season over before it started. The reason why Lawson was practicing against the Green Bay Packers Went down in a heap in practice, quickly was carted off, but not before hearing a pop in his lower extremity. Of course, we know what that means. His colleague Mike Garofalo and I reported the Jets quickly did an MRI focused on the Achilles. But at that point, if you do an MRI in the Achilles and he hears a pop, there's really only one outcome. Yes, Carl Lawson did, in fact, tear his Achilles as the MRI showed out for the season. Of course, he's going to have surgery, plenty of time to make a full recovery. But for this New York Jets team, which has been so starved over the past couple of years for pass rush, which really thought they got it right, absolutely right, to have this big-time player in the new Robert Sala defense, now has to do it without one of the guys they spent a ton of money on in the offseason. Sala has done it before, had this 49ers defense rolling last year, despite losing a lot of big-name guys, now is the head coach of the Jets, has to replicate